today we are going to be changing out the mower blades on our X Mark X series uh, 52 inch walk behind. There's three blades total. Oh, 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 hi, buggy. Yep. And uh, in order to do this, you need an impact wrench or impact gun. I have a Ryobi. I went to the Home Depot and actually bought a couple different ones and this is the one that actually I needed strong enough to take it off uh, so enjoy the video like subscribe comment uh, hit that notification bell so you can see our new videos every day this is a new file and by the way this is a new file that I got to sharpen our hedge trimmers I'll be making a video with this as well here put this back buggy Okay, I will. thank you Love you. Don't forget to watch our next video to see how well these blades cut. Thank you. Watch out. Watch out. Shh. Ooh. Good. We got them off. Don't worry about that, bud. As you see, there's these little oh, rivets. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah, you gotta make sure that they go in the right way. I don't way. want to just watch you from the camera. What I do is I put these back in until I get the new set of blades in there. Hey. Oh, yeah. Could you hand me that, bud? Thank you. You make sure you put the blades on the right way, too. And if I were you, I'd put some gloves on, but... That's not really cool. I don't have to worry about it so much now. I slice my hands up good one time. That's very cool, that red part. Yeah? Just watch you run the video. Uh, <laughs> Careful, bad, plug bad. your ears, all right, buddy. I'm about, Why? I'm about to tighten this up. Look how bad these blades were. Oh. Wow. It's all bent up, you see there? In that corner. Well, you got new ones. Yep. And there's a fire. Hey. Dad? Yeah, buddy? You can hear me in the video. It's okay. I'll, I'll make sure that we edit it out, okay? All right, now that we got that one on there, I want to actually clear out all this stuff here. See all that gunk in there? What is this? Oh, buddy, it's buddy, do you see all that gunk in there? Yeah. That stuff's got to come out, right? Yeah. Otherwise, it's not going to suck up the, the stuff to mulch it up. These blades right here are actually mulching blades. This is a mulching kit. Oh. And if you look here, if you look because here, bud. Like, let's stop it? Yeah, all the mulch and stuff, all the, the oh. leaves. You look oh. here, you see this bolted on here on yeah. the side? Yeah. It keeps everything in there to where it sucks it up and then mulches it. That's and then cool. that way it leaves a really clean cut afterwards. Okay. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Hey, I love you. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. It makes me feel really good. As you can see, I'm getting in there with this, getting out all this nasty stuff caked up on the side. It's just moldy grass, wet grass. And what it does is it stops up the suction on the blades. It makes it hard for a nice clean cut, so do this every time.
out of there see that video making it you'll see it on this one hopefully they'll be on the same video I'm pretty sure oh get that slice out of there this actually mixed up Daddy, with don't go back to mama. what's going on what Look at that. That's just out of one. That was out of the last one. Got one more to go. This is just the stuff that people don't understand that you gotta take care of when, you know, you go home. They're thinking, oh, you got $30 to cut my lawn, but they don't understand we have to spend an hour or two hours just maintaining. This is just at home work. The kids are running around playing right now and I'm sitting under here scraping my deck of poop and grass. Yeah, so you gotta outweigh the pros and cons about starting a business and running a business. Going on seven years now, so I can handle the brute killing every year, but some people are just not cut out for it. But if you are, keep on pushing through, that's all you can do. And we're on this side. Let's get some new blades on that other side there. Remember, I got some gloves on just to be nice in the video. And, you know, I hate to not practice what I preach. So always be careful when you're putting blades on. Use gloves. Make sure it's going on the right way. And it fits in the grooves. Boom. I like to angle them all pretty much the same way so that 
when I'm getting them off, I don't have to run into my, you know, the other one doing the same thing. So it just helps me out. Boom, hand tighten, and then give it a nice torque down. Yes, baby. On the nice. I think it was mine, but I was like, 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 I was
couple of little twists to tighten it up. I think we're good. I'm gonna charge this thing up. Should bring it back to Home Depot, quite honestly. Oh yeah, ready for a nice day of cutting grass, cutting grass and kicking ass. What baby girl? Uh, like three days I've been trying to do this. Alright YouTube, I'm going to close out with this one question for you guys. If you could pick one song to drive off into the sunset over a bridge and you're going into a new life, what song would you be playing as you're looking into the rearview mirror? and thinking about your past life. Put in the comments what you think, what you would choose, why, and then uh, if you could just like, comment, subscribe, and uh, hit the notification bell, that way you're uh, gonna be able to watch all of our new content coming out. Thanks again guys, I appreciate you watching. Stick around for some more content.